Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I am going to finally get around to doing as many upgrades on my laser as I possibly can. Um, there's so much that um, you can do with these lasers. Now, they work almost straight away out of the box if you're, if you're fine with just a few, like a small surface area to cut on and various other things. But um, I am not the first person to do these upgrades, not these exact upgrades. If you search anywhere online, there, there's a lot of this sort of thing out there. I'm going to try and hopefully make it a little bit more clear and um, a little bit more precise so even people who don't particularly know much about this kind of thing can hopefully follow along. But guys, we're still working with electric, so please, for God's sake, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. There's no point, it's not worth it. This will probably take quite some time, you know, over a few hours, I would have thought, or maybe even a couple of days. So this will be done in parts. I'm going to hopefully get them out as um, as often as I can and as close together as I can so you're not, not having to wait. Um, but I'm going to start off with the gantry. I want to get that straightened out, so I'm going to probably have to take the whole gantry out. And then I'm going to cut that um, vent that's in the back of the K40s because it just gets in the way. As I say, follow along at your own risk and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get on. Okay, before I do any actual modifications, I need to sort this gantry out. If you have a look, it is still not straight. We've got like an inch gap here and probably half an inch this end. So I need to take the bed out and the gantry and I'm probably going to sort this thing out as well. Um, first things first then, I need to unscrew the bed. I have actually unscrewed this in the past so there's not all the screws, but normally you'd have to unscrew all five screws. Right, to get the gantry out, we need to take the screws, uh, well, the bolts from here and here, and then there's two underneath this panel here. But to get to them, I'm going to have to take these, which are the actual things that hold the bed up. So I'm going to take them out next. Oh, by the way, they're screwed in underneath, and so basically hold them with a pair of pliers and unscrew them. Right, next um, I'm taking off this bit. This protects one of the stepper motors from the laser. If you are going to do this as well, I would totally advise you recording it yourself, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, because the reason I started the YouTube channel is, number one, my son told me to and I listened to him, which was great, but number two, um, I'd record my stuff normally anyway in case I couldn't find where stuff went when I needed to put it back. There's nothing worse than finishing a project and having more screws than, you know, you should left over. Oh. <clears throat> I used the drill then because I needed to shock the screw, not as in make it jump, but one quick hit with a, um, a drill often will loosen up a screw. Not always, um, not if it's rusty especially. Okay, next, there you go. Next I need to be able to get into the screws which are down here and at the back. Screws holding this the whole gantry on are at the back here and then if we turn around they are under there and there. Can't really get it the light in there but I'll sort that out now wow how that is in straight I don't know let me show you something that hole both those holes have been drilled well one's been drilled sorry let me explain the underneath one has been obviously drilled and cut out by machine and then these two here have been drilled by a human who's obviously quite inept. So I must remember how that goes in because that would be a nightmare trying to get that back in. Oh god, I'll do this one last I think. Right, I did the other one at the back and I'm going to do the other two at the front without being on camera because it is just too tight. I can't get in there and get a decent um, picture. But for these front ones as well, I'm going to have to remove all of the actual bed supports anyway. So that's not a problem. But I think I'm, I, I don't know if I'm going to be putting them back anyway. I might be 
having a raising and lowering bed, but I haven't decided yet. Okay, so I've got all the bolts out. It would have been so much easier with my socket set, but sadly I lent it to a friend of mine before the pandemic and we're still not meeting up yet, so not out of anyone's fault that I haven't got it, but I just don't have it, which is a pain. Right, we need to now unplug the actual um, motors and everything from this side. Okay, this ribbon here and this socket here both need removing. I believe that's everything, is it? Let's have a quick look. That goes to the fans. I think that's everything. I'll soon find out. What are you getting stuck on at the back? There's another bit I'd noticed when it, when it goes along we get a little bit of crunching along the bar somewhere not that I can see anything though now I've got to figure out how I can bend this without snapping everything Okay, well I'm going to have a think about that and get back to it. I'm just not entirely sure what I can do. Okay, after a bit of umming and ahhing, I think that I'm going to try one thing first, which is I'm going to loosen off this belt by um, turning this screw, and then I'm going to bend it back into the right sort of shape, and then I'm going to tighten it back up and see if it was just the tension of the belt causing it to bend back, you know, that it was already out of alignment, and then the tension of the belt just bent it that way. So that's my first test anyway. See how bad it is. Okay, so there we go. Got it as loose as possible now. Now I'm going to bend it. Because when I was bending it, when it was all connected, um, I, it would click really badly, like I'd misaligned the cogs and um, it would cause all sorts of problems. But now I can do this and then I can actually um, change it on the actual belt and get it to where I need it. Right, let's measure that. Wow, there's a lot, a lot of metal splinters in this. Or it's just been shaved off and left. Right. So with a little bit of holding, we can get it back exact. So now let's see if, when we tighten this up, if we can sort that out. Okay. 
It's either worked or it hasn't. Hmm. Now it looks like it's too far. We'll soon find out. No, it's dead on. Hallelujah. Okay, so that's that sorted. Now we need to go and have a look at the exhaust fan bit. Right, next I'm going to remove this, because um, I'm thinking of cutting it down like a lot of other people do. At the moment it's not in my way, and the laser doesn't go that far back, etc. However, I'm thinking about building a new bed for it, and if I do that it's got to come out anyway. So I might as well do it now while I've got everything out. And then I'm going to have to get in here and clean it all out again, because it is absolutely filled with polystyrene still, even after all the cleaning I did before. Okay, to remove that I believe it's these screws here. But I'm going to take them out and find out if I'm right or not. Yes, it was those screws. Wow, look at that already. I've only cut a few things. But that also shows how much it's blocking off. Right, I took an arbitrary distance and I've put a line all the way around. And I'm going to go outside and cut it with the angle grinder. I'm not going to record that. It, it'll either work or it won't and you'll get to see that once by the final product so yeah you know how sometimes you do something and it royally screws up and you think well that was bound to happen hey it didn't this time <laughs> um, it, it came off perfect so yeah happy days right I'll put it back on okay that went back in actually quite easy I was quite skeptical I'd get that back in as easy um, I'm gonna put the actual um, gantry and everything back in next Okay, that all went in absolutely perfectly, so I'm starting to get a bit worried about what's going to go wrong, because no, never does all this go completely right the first time, so something's bound to go wrong. Next, I need to plug it back in, and I need to just test it without the laser on, just to make sure it's all it all moves fine and so on, because I don't want to go on to doing anything with the electronics, and then find out that I'd mess something up early on, and I'm searching for it through the mess of wires that I've now changed, you know? Okay, that's the end of that. Everything went really smoothly, which is terrifying when that happens. There's obviously something about to go horribly wrong, but that'll have to be in the next episode. Um, I'll try and get out as quick as I can. That's going to be the DC side of things, and we'll be getting sort of the, the control panel up and running, hopefully. But thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.